So, this is a movie centered on the Hebrews, who were slaves in Egypt for 400 years. Living here, they used to work for the people of Egypt. It was their job to make big statues and palaces for them, so that their city could be made beautiful. But despite doing so much work here, the Hebrew slaves were treated very badly. At the beginning of the film, we are shown a palace, where a meeting was going on. Because their enemies were ready to attack across the border. The king there says, that I don't want our enemies to attack us. That's why we have to go there and fight them. Here in the palace, the one who used to tell the future, that oracle girl tells that our commander's life will be in danger in this war, and the one who will save his life, will be the next king of this palace. Here the king had two special men. One was his son and the other's name was Moses, who was the son of the king's sister. All these now go to war. One moment comes when the king's son's life was in danger. Here Moses had saved the king's son's life. When they come back to the palace from the war, and when the king finds out, that Moses has saved his son's life, then the king starts thinking. Like the oracle girl had told that, the one who will save the commander's life in the war, the second commander will be the next king. The king now calls Moses to him to talk about this, and says I know. You don't believe in the things of the future, and my future prediction tells me that you'll be my next king. But how can I choose you as my heir? Moses listens to the king and says, maybe you are right, and how can I become a king in your place? After this, another meeting is called, in which it is being informed, that Hebrew slaves are troubling a lot, and are not even working properly. Now to find out about this, the king orders his son, to go and find out what the matter is. As this prediction was made, that the next king will be Moses. So the king's son's heart starts doubting Moses. Now Moses comes to the king's son and says, you don't go to the slaves, this will be against your pride. After all, you are the king's son, I am going to find out about all this. When Moses goes to those slaves, the condition there was very bad. The slaves were beaten instead of rewarding them for their work. When Moses talks to the minister there, the minister tells that all this is being done with them, because these slaves have rebelled against us. Moses says you leave these things, I will talk to the slaves myself. Moses now gathers all the elders of the Hebrew slaves, in one place and talks to them. One of those slaves says in old age, that we just want to go back to our country, Canaan. Moses hears this and says, do you know how dangerous that area is? How dangerous the people of the tribe live there. If you go there, you will never be able to come back. Moses asks that old man tell me what your name is. That old man says that first, you tell me who you are. Moses tells him that I have come from the palace, my name is Moses and I am the son of the king's sister. Hearing this, something happened to them all, and everyone was much happy. After this, the same old man, calls Moses to his settlement through one of his men. When Moses goes to him, the old man tells him the whole story. He says that when you were born, a prophecy was made that, our Messiah will be born who will take us away from here. That year when the palace found out about this, the people of the palace ordered to kill every Hebrew child. Your parents did not want to lose you at any cost, so they locked you in a trunk, and threw you into the river. At that time, the sister of the king of the palace, used to bathe in that river. She took you with her, and went to the palace and made you her son. You are actually a Hebrew. Moses tells that old man that it was a good story. I don't believe this story of yours at all. When that old man was telling this story to Moses, two other men also hear it. They come in greed and go to the palace, and tell everything to the minister. Meanwhile, the king's condition was also deteriorating. The king dies soon. Now, the new king appointed his son as the ruler, and the son harbored a deep hatred for Moses, and was a very merciless and cruel man. The minister comes and tells, the whole truth to the king's son, who is now his new king. He was very surprised to hear this. Now he starts hating Moses even more. That's why he made an excuse for this, and threw Moses out of the palace. Before Moses leaves here, he meets his real mother, who tells him the whole truth. After this, Moses went on his journey, where there was no sign of a human being. There was only death. Somehow Moses now reaches a tribe, where he sees that there are some girls, who were filling water from the well. At that time, some men come there with a herd of goats. They come and put those girls aside from the well, and they started giving water to their goats. Seeing this, when Moses starts drinking water there, those men also stop him. But Moses had a very big sword, seeing which all of them were scared and went from there. After that, when the girls there see, that Moses had saved their lives, they invite him to eat in their village. And this is how Moses started living here. He also falls in love with a girl. Very soon they got married. A son is born to Moses. It had been nine years since he had been living here. He now used to graze goats. One day a very strong storm comes. His goats had climbed a mountain due to the storm. The people here used to call it the mountain of God. When Moses climbs up to take his goats, a lot of soil and stones were falling down. Because of which he is buried in the soil. He only had his mouth out. 
After a while, when he regains consciousness, he sees that a tree is on fire. Then a child comes to him who says, that you have come here and forgotten your old people, who are still waiting for you. They know that one day, their Messiah will definitely set them free. He got unconscious after hearing these words. Now when he regains consciousness again, he was at his house, where he tells his wife about that child. He says that I think God is giving me a sign, that I should go and save my people's lives. Moses hears these words again. That's why now he had decided that, he would definitely go to Egypt again. After reaching Egypt, he first goes to the same old man, who had told him the whole truth. He says that after you leave, we have started to be treated even worse. Now at night Moses quietly goes to the palace of Stabil, where the new king of this place, son of the king, was also there. Moses came from behind and put a sword on his neck. When the king sees that this is Moses, he says, I am happy to see you alive, my brother. Moses says, yes, you wanted me to die, but look, I am alive. He says that I have come here, after seeing the condition of the Hebrew slaves. You treat them very badly. If they work for you, then you should get the fruit of their hard work, not beating. Saying this, Moses starts leaving from here. The king says that don't listen to them. Moses says, I am not listening to them, but I have received a sign from God that I should help them. Saying this, Moses left from there. After this, it is shown that a meeting was called in the palace, in which the king says that Moses had come to me. He put a sword on my neck, and talked about freeing those slaves. So now he has no right to stay alive. Kill him wherever he is seen. Now whoever is asked about Moses from the family, that where is he? Those who were supporting Moses, they were not ready to tell anything. That's why the king's soldiers hang them alive. This was a punishment for those slaves, not to tell about Moses. On the other hand, Moses is shown, who was preparing his team along with the slaves. In which he also teaches them horse riding, archery and sword fighting. So that all of them can fight for their freedom. Very soon, Moses' team was ready. First of all, these people make this plan, that they will trouble the people of Egypt. So that they can free them by telling their king. They also set fire to their houses. Even their boats were burnt. One day the same child comes to Moses, who saw him on the mountain that day. He says that the war you are fighting, it will take centuries. You can never win. Moses asks that child, then what should I do? That child says, just keep watching. Now what happens? There was a man standing there who was watching Moses. Who is he talking to? But he does not see that child. It means that God had come to Moses in the form of that child. And the next day, big crocodiles are caught in the river of Egypt. They eat them by tearing them apart. Not a single fish was left alive in the river. All the people sitting in the boats were killed. Instead of water, blood starts flowing in the river, because of which their crops also stopped getting water, and all the crops are destroyed. Then they are attacked by frogs. A lot of frogs came to Egypt, and when these frogs die, a lot of flies came to them. The number of flies was so high, that they could not even eat food. Then the disease of leprosy spread, which neither left the king nor the queen. Even after all this, the king did not stop. One day Moses writes on a horse and sends it to the king, that you will have to free the slaves, Otherwise, after this, more disasters can come to you, which is from God. But the king was still not ready to agree. After this, he began to torture the slaves even more. When God sees this, then it started raining stones in Egypt. All the sheep and goats die. And the last attack was of the locust, because of which all the crops there were destroyed. The king was also fed up with all these disasters. That's why he goes to pray to his God, so that all the problems can be removed. Then he feels that Moses is there. He says, Moses, you are here, right? After which the king was angry. He says, yes, I used to think that all this is from God. But I have understood that you are doing all this, Moses. Now I am not going to free any slave. And I see who wins. Me or your God. After which Moses again comes to the same mountain, where he used to get a child in the form of God. Moses says that he still did not agree with us. That God means the child says, after 400 years of slavery, the king will have to free all the Hebrews. Otherwise, go and tell him that as soon as tomorrow morning, all the children of Egypt will die. And yes, tell our people, to cut a sheep and put its blood in front of their door. Then the night here changes into the day. Moses comes to the king, and says that before tomorrow night, you will have to free all the slaves. Otherwise, all the children here will die. When it is night, a black shadow, had taken over the whole of Egypt. Due to which all the children of Egypt died. In the morning, the king brings his son's corpse to Moses and says what kind of God is yours, the one who killed our children. Go, get out of here. He finally gave up and freed all the slaves. Moses takes his people and goes to their country. But after a while, the king in the palace realized that he should not have left them like this. That's why he takes 4,000 people with him and follows them.
although he was four days away from Moses. But he had horses, that's why he reaches them quickly. There Moses also found out, that the king of Egypt was coming behind him. That's why he tells his people, to go through the mountain road. Because he knew that the king's horses, could not walk on this way, and it also happens that when the king's horses, were passing through that way, they fall into the ravine due to the slipping of the horse's feet. The king had suffered a great loss. Finally, the king reaches Moses. Now there was a sea in front of Moses. He decides that he will cross the sea. The sign of which he got from God. When he takes his people and moves forward, the water of the sea began to decrease. And a road is formed in the middle, through which everyone had crossed the sea. When the people of the king also start walking on that road, the water began to come again. They understood that now their life is in danger. Everyone runs backwards. The water of the sea had quickly engulfed them. Everyone was killed except the king. The king was now completely alone. He could not do anything. Moses takes his people and moves forward. First of all, he goes to his house, where his wife and son were. Now he had complete faith in God. He takes everyone from here and goes to Canaan, their country, where they could spend their life freely. At the end of the story, we are shown that in this journey, there was also a child with Moses, Moses, who used to approach him in the guise of God. And with this, the movie story of this movie ends here.